A POLICE TACTICAL SITUATION IN A WAUKESHA HOTEL. LAW ENFORCEMENT FROM MULTIPLE AGENCIES WERE THERE FOR HOURS. IT HAPPENED AT THE BAYMONT INN AND SUITES. THAT'S ON MORELAND, ABOUT A MILE OFF THE INTERSTATE. MADELINE O'Neill WAS THERE NOT LONG AFTER EVERYTHING STARTED UNFOLDING AROUND 6.30 P.M. SHE JOINS US LIVE. AND MADDIE, WE JUST GOT BRAND NEW INFORMATION FROM WAUKESHA POLICE. Right, we're hearing from police for the first time tonight, really just within the past 10 minutes. We got a press release about what happened. So now we know that a 44 year old man, the suspect is in custody, eventually surrendering, but not before Waukesha police say they heard a gunshot in his room and they say that's what led an officer of theirs to fire his own weapon. But they say no one was injured in all of this. And got the warning as I pulled into the area. She was on her way to meet her husband at the Baymont Hotel. Making sure he's okay. When Carrie Schrader came upon all of this. The shots fired all squads. Start responding. He said he heard someone say shots fired. He did hear a single shot. Um, and I've seen um, a SWAT team on a looks like armored truck. An emergency alert from the Waukesha Sheriff's Department just before 7 p.m. warned people to avoid the area of East Moreland Boulevard and East Main Street because of an ongoing police incident. And please avoid the area. We spoke East with Carrie Moreland just Boulevard. after that when she could only think of the fact that last she heard her husband Brian was in the hotel. Making sure that he's okay and just making sure we're all going to be okay. About 15 minutes later. On edge, to say the least. Brian says he was able to leave the hotel after police questioning. It felt like everything stopped and sped up at the same time. Brian says he heard what he thought was a gunshot and police telling people to stay in their rooms. I miss probably the police coming in just by minutes because, like I said, I heard them and just grateful to be safe and sound. We're bringing them out now. Authorities gave the all clear just before nine. The copy of the subject is 1080. And can we send out the all clear now? This couple is happy to be in the clear and reunited. You know, the fact that I'm uninjured is just a big relief. We're also learning from Waukesha police tonight that official or that there was a commitment order for this suspect. They were to take him to a mental health facility live in Waukesha. Madeline O'Neill, Fox 6 News. All right. Thank you, Madeline.